It is very important. Uh, we just prolonged sort of this framework we have for member states to, to help businesses out for another six months. Uh, and we also introduced sort of recovery measures to crowd in private investments uh, to that investment gap that many businesses would have because of the pandemic. So, for instance, a business who have, you know, struggle to digitalize to make the most uh, of a business while the pandemic, but still needs to do, you know, sort of the, the real effort to, to transfer into having a real uh, digitalized business model. That investment gap, how to fill that, how to sort of lure in private funding with a bit of public funding so that it's not just compensation, but it's also to see how can, how can we enable more, more investment to happen. Exactly. And you've actually tried to change the rule book. You've made a few proposals over the last two years. And we got the, some news recently that um, of this uh, agreement that took place between a Chinese state-controlled firm and an Italian manufacturer of uh, um, drones, military drones, I should say. And that deal, even though it took place in 2018, it didn't get scrutinized by European authorities. Do you think that the European rulebook in this context is still too weak? Well, I think it still remains to be seen uh, because if you look at uh, foreign direct investment, you know, new tools have been rolled out. And, and here, of course, the, uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Uh, we need to, to use the tools more. Uh, we need more activity. We need more scrutiny. Uh, for instance, we have sort of uh, rejuvenated uh, part of our rule book uh, to be able to assess uh, killer acquisitions. Mm -hmm. So we need to be much more out there. Uh, we, even with new regulation coming in, did to Services Act, did to Markets Act, you know, the enforcement need to stay vigilant.